Hi, this is Yasmin from Iabet, and in my channel you'll find practical ways of using art making as a way to access your subconscious. And in today's video I'll show you a method of how you can use drawing, painting, and writing as a way to understand the meaning of your pain, why it's there, and what it's trying to tell you. And I've decided this exercise to be used on physical pain, but you can also use it on emotional pain. And the goal today is not going to be to try to make your pain go away and not even to heal it. We are simply going to listen to our pain, to understand it, and to communicate with it. And this is because I believe that it's the best way to release resistance to our pain. And as you probably know, we can't change anything that we don't accept first. And um, I would like to say that I'm not a doctor, so you shouldn't use this video as medical advice. I'm going to give you an emotional and spiritual perspective to look at your pain. But as you know, we are holistic beings comprising of body, mind, and emotion. So it's important to look at your pain from all different perspectives, not only the physical and not only the emotional. So let's start. So to do this exercise, you can use the materials you find at home. So you only really need a pen, paper, and something to color with, like crayons or colored pencils. If you happen to have paint at home, then you can combine painting with the drawing, but you don't have to if you don't have it. And the paper I'm using is A3 size, but you can use any size paper that you have. So since we're using the art making as a way to access bodily knowledge, it's important that our body is relaxed before we start this. So if you have your own way of bringing relaxation and presence into your body, you can do that. If you don't, a good way is to simply breathe deeply and with every in-breath, you can imagine softness going into your body and with every out-breath, you can imagine tension going out of your body. And if you feel pain currently, you can just be present with that pain and acknowledge it. And when you feel relaxed, I would like you to uh, pay your attention to the pain that you experience in your life currently, be it physical or emotional. Maybe you're feeling this pain only in one part of your body, or maybe it's uh, something that you feel all over your body. Nevertheless, I would like you to invite this pain to fill your body completely. So you can do this in your mind's eye, uh, imagining that the pain in your body is becoming bigger, it's like a bubble that is expanding until it uh, encompasses you completely. And in essence, you are becoming that pain. And once you have done this, you can take a crayon or colored pencil and I would like you to use your non-dominant hand for this. So for me, it's my left hand and I would like you to close your eyes and let this pain move your hand. And you can do this for as long as that feels good to you. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And next, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna let the pain uh, draw or paint the rest of this picture using either the crayons or the paints and let the paint take it where it wants to go. So we are inviting our paint to express itself and you can use the materials that you have for this. Now 
Now your artwork wants to tell you a story. So we'll be writing that story next. And to start, I would like you to look at your artwork and write down four to six words that come to your mind when you look at it. And you can do this really intuitively. And then when you write the story, you can use either all of those words or some of those words inside the story. And uh, in addition to those words, I'm going to give you five ways to start sentences within your story, which will help you find more information about the artwork and what it represents. So the sentences are, I am, I feel like, I'm here because, I want you to become aware of, and I'm here to help you. And again, you can use those in any order and you don't have to use all of them. So to make this more concrete for you, I'm going to share the example that I did. And I painted about the pain in my hips that I've been experiencing. So I have something a little bit imbalanced in my hips, which affects my lower back and my left leg if I do too much exercise. So that's what I painted about. And here's my painting. And the words that I chose for this were loop, mint, stuck, orange, and collapsed. And the story that my artwork wants to tell me goes like this. I am balanced, or I'm trying hard to be, but sometimes it feels like things are collapsed. So I'm here because I'm trying to keep it all together and intact. Right now it feels like there's two sides to me. One side is as warm as an orange, and the other side is as cool as a mint leaf. The problem is they weigh different amount, amounts, which is why it's hard to keep things balanced. I want you to become aware of this imbalance. The orange is stuck and it's going in a loop. I'm here to help you free the orange. I want to tell you that it's time to throw out the molded orange and welcome the fresh new orange in its place. And this might feel like really abstract to you and it might confuse you at first, but I think it's kind of like a dream. It opens up slowly. So this is the language of the subconscious and it takes time getting used to. I think the more that you do these kinds of exercises, the more you can get used to this language and the easier it is to understand it. Uh, but I think it's a helpful way because uh, using art to communicate with our pain makes it easier to kind of feel less resistant to our pains. And that's because this painting uh, is not the one that is causing me the pain. So it's easier for me to communicate with this artwork in a non-judgmental and objective way, which is going to make the pain open up to me and want to give me information about it. And um, I think that it's also good because um, it makes us become the experts of our own body. Our pain is simply our body's way of calling forth our conscious presence. And I hope that this exercise helped you do that. Thank you.